So this video is a follow up on my previous ones about storytelling, world building and character development. If you haven't seen those yet, they'll be linked in the description. I've had several people reach out to me with more questions about how to actually begin writing. Though I've discussed starting to write in the past, I didn't go into detail about how you should map out the character journeys in your story, so that's what this video will be for. Stick around to the end, as I'll give you some tips on how you can implement the character arc to start writing better characters right now. My name's Sid Ward, and on this channel I document my journey in learning the skills that I need to be a self-sufficient creative. Now I'm someone that's passionate about storytelling, and I want to make it easier for all of you to tell your stories in whatever medium you choose. Whether you're wanting to write a book, or write a screenplay for a movie or series, you're going to need a solid understanding of how to write good characters. And for our purposes, there are really only two functions that characters need to serve within your story. Those are the main character, and everyone else. I say main character and not protagonist because your main character doesn't necessarily have to be the protagonist. The main character is just the one that needs to go through the most significant change throughout your story. You should spend more time on their character arc than any other character in your story. Okay, so if you've watched some of my other videos about character development and world building, you've heard me mention the character arc. But what is it? Put simply, the character arc is a change in the internal beliefs that a character experiences throughout the duration of the story. This means that when you're creating the main character, you need to establish their beliefs and have the story gradually change those beliefs. What they initially believe leads them towards external gratification, or the want. And what they learn by the end of the story is internal gratification or the need. In order for you to tell a dynamic story, you need a character that wants something. Why they want that thing is their need. When you are writing your characters, you need to make sure that they start out lacking something. Something important in their life. Their life can't be perfect or else they would have no motivation to change it or leave. They won't be lacking material things, but they will lack an understanding of the truth about the world that they live in. Their lack of truth is what pushes them to their want which is usually superficial and external, and the story that you write forces your main character to confront their existing belief of the world and discover that truth of what they need. It can be difficult at times, but ultimately your job as the writer is to establish your character's beliefs and to put them into circumstances that force them to learn the truth that you want them to learn. I gave a great example of want versus need in my Kurisu video, so check that out here if you haven't already. But I'm going to give you guys another example that will hopefully make it a little bit more understandable for when you're writing your characters. Spoilers ahead for the movie The Tomorrow War. The main character Dan starts out the movie by lacking a sense of importance in his life. After leaving the military and becoming a teacher, Dan feels unfulfilled with his life and feels like he's meant to do bigger and better things. After he and thousands of others are drafted to go fight in a war 30 years in the future, he gains a new perspective on what's important in his life. When we first meet him, he wants nothing more than to do something great. And when he returns from the future, he realizes that what he needs is just to be there for his family. And that's the most important thing to him. He even begins to repair his relationship with his father by the end of the movie. This is a side note here, but The Tomorrow War is actually a pretty decent time travel story. So I definitely recommend that you give it a watch if you can. It's no Steins Gate, but I think it's still worth your time. The character Dan shows a great example of what's known as the change character arc, which is the most common form of a character arc. There are others, but I would only worry about the change arc when you're first starting out. The first step to mapping out your character arc is to establish the false belief. This is what leads them to their want. For Dan in Tomorrow War, his false belief is that his simple life as a teacher raising his daughter is somehow less important to him than doing some great thing. The second step is to set up the reason for the belief, which for Dan is the fact that he was special forces in the army and has an extensive background in biology, which makes him believe that he's meant to do more than just be a teacher. The final step of the arc is to challenge their false belief. For Dan, this came with his encounters with certain characters in the future. He learns of the circumstances of his death and how his absence affected those close to him. This ultimately forces his beliefs to change. He doesn't need to seek out bigger and better things. He needs to support his family and those who are important to him. If you follow those three steps when writing your main character, you'll be off to a pretty good start. But what about the side characters? What you need to keep in mind when writing other characters is that they should have beliefs that are different from your main character. The conflicts between characters in different circumstances are what pushes the story forward and what pushes your main character into the challenge portion of their arc. Some things to keep in mind are that characters need to be believable for the audience to care. The audience doesn't have to agree, but they need to understand why the characters believe certain things, and this has to feel earned or justified. And again, I'm going to link some of the other videos that I have that'll help you out when it comes to storytelling and character development down in the description. These videos will serve as resources for you. I'll also link my Patreon, where I have completely free templates for writing characters and coming up with a structure for plotting out your story. I hope that this video helps you out. 
And if so, hit the subscribe button and like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Going forward, I think I'm going to start discussing my journey into learning storyboarding and illustration. And I'm currently creating a little illustration challenge for myself that I'll discuss in a future video. So let me know what you guys want to see next.